This is Don Qualtech Support and in this video we will test the new GPU accelerated hardware scheduling and see if it has any impact on performance in a variety of scenarios. I have tested both the 5700 XT and the 2070 Super with hardware scheduling enabled and disabled to see if there is any tangible performance difference. So I tested in a few different scenarios. We have one scenario, which is the ordinarily GPU bound gaming scenario. One scenario where we enable the uh, low latency mode and disable future frame rendering in Battlefield 5. One scenario where we are VRAM limited in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Then we have a single threaded game such as Elder Scrolls Online. And we have one scenario where the CPU is pegged at 100% utilization in Shadow the Tomb Raider. The test system today was an i5-10600K overclock to 5GHz with 16GB of 4266MHz memory running in dual channel. And let us start off with the regular GPU bound gaming scenario. So we tested in Doom Eternal and here at 1080p the 5700 XT is performing the same with hardware scheduling enabled and disabled. The RTX 2070 Super with hardware scheduling comes in slightly ahead, but the difference is so small it's not really noticeable. At 1440p we get pretty much the same result with it on or off, there is not really a difference here. And at 4K the 2070 Super has slightly lower average performance, while the 5700 XT shows no difference at all. Now testing in scenarios where we are maxing out VRAM, we used Ghost Recon Breakpoint for this test at 4K with ultimate settings. It requires over 9GB of VRAM, which is 1GB more than what the cards today have available. The 2070 Super shows no difference in performance regardless of the type of scheduling and with the 5700 XT it's really the same story. So far then we are 0 for 2, let's see if we can see a difference in a highly single threaded game like Elder Scrolls Online. So at 1080p ultra settings we again see no difference in performance on the 5700 XT and it's exactly the same story with the 2070 Super, this is quickly becoming less and less exciting. In our second to last test scenario we changed the i5-10600K to a 4 core 4 thread CPU running at 4.8GHz and we do a test run in Shadow the Tomb Raider at medium settings and in this scenario the CPU is pegged at 100% during a test run so surely we can see a difference in performance here right? Well no, there's no discernible difference in performance here either so let's move on then. So we return the i5-10600K to a 6 core 12 threaded CPU and run Battlefield 5 with low latency mode and Radeon anti-lag on and future frame rendering disabled in the game. So here are the results and again there's no difference in performance. With DirectX 11 we are very much CPU bound and even so there is still no difference in outright performance. Changing to DirectX 12 gives us a large performance boost but the type of scheduling still doesn't seem to matter. The verdict then is that for now GPU accelerated hardware scheduling is not doing much for us. Uh, hopefully this will change in the future but for now there I see no reason to enable this. And that's pretty much it for now. So next week I will have a video testing the performance of the 5700 XT versus the 2070 Super a year later. They have now been on the market for about a year and we are going to see if AMD's drivers have uh, gotten the 5700 XT to catch up to the 2070 Super. But for now, thank you so much for watching and farewell.